Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Press Play Lifestyle Inspired Podcast, where we do interviews with inspiring and interesting people like our new friend, V, on topics to help our listeners, that's you, find the resources, tools, and support that you need to be your best inspired self. Hi, V. How are you today? Hi, Jackie. I'm good. Uh, thank you so much for having me. I'm excited to share my story with your viewers. Oh, thank you for making time. It's like everyone's life is so busy or maybe a little less busy now, but I love your name only because I have a daughter named Zoe and we call her Z all the time. I'm like, what's up Z? So I think it's really pretty. I love it. I love it. Thank you. And you have a sign that says inspire for people who can't see. So you're, you're like the perfect guest for us, I think. <laughs> thank you. So why don't you just tell the um, listeners a little bit about who you are and uh, what you do in the world. Yeah, okay. So I grew up in a family who mostly kind of told me what I had to do, right? They told me I had to go to school. I had to get good grades. I had to go to college. They provided me shelter and food and they said, you don't have to worry about that, but you have to. Um, you know, we immigrated to the U.S., so they were, my parents were busy working, and they gave my brother and I whatever we needed, but told us we had to do this and that. They told me I have to pick a major in a field that is growing, and that was computer science, and that's what I had to do. So I kind of never got a chance to actually figure out who I am and what I want to do. So I went through life just asking this question of why we're here. It felt weird to me that we're just kind of born and then we go through life and then we die, right? And not in a sad, weird sort of way, but I was just curious, like, why are we here? And so for like 15 years, I've been asking people that question. And I didn't realize, what I didn't realize is that it's not the career, it's not um, the the um, actual job title that you have in life that really matters. It took me a really long time. It was a whole journey that um, made me realize that we're all born with this thing that we really love to do, that we're passionate about. And a lot of the times we doubt it and we say, no, that's not, that's not something. Um, everyone knows that thing, or this isn't going to help anyone because it's so innate in us. Right? So it took me a really long time to realize that I kept changing majors, I kept taking different jobs, I worked on um, a lot of nonprofit boards, and it was this whole evolution that made me realize what we're really here for. And so after going through that whole journey, and now I help women just create a life that they love. I help them get rid of this. There has to be more um, to life feeling because I had that feeling for most of my life. Yeah, I love that you say that. I actually um computer science undergraduate as well. So oh. I so I have a and um there's not a lot of computer to coaches, so that there's us and that's it, I think. <laughs> Yeah, female I computer would, person and a coach, right? How does that happen? That is so rare. I was like one of two women in my computer science program. There was like 300 something men. And then it was like me and, so, and, and another woman. So it was like really weird. Same for me as well. Yeah. So there's like two, um, two people, me and the other gal. <clears throat> and um, she identified as not necessarily a gal. So yeah. Um, so it was a, as as a small field, but, but I think you're right. I think, um, as a, as a computer person originally, right. And yeah. sort of, um, I, I like to learn. I'm like, a, I, I, I'm always asking questions. I'm super curious, which is like the number one best thing that a coach can be is curious, right. To find yeah. out and help people uncover things. And, um, so yeah, that's a long road though, right. It's like kind of going from your parents saying this is how you need to be and this is what you're doing and this is what you go to school for and yeah. just and then keep having the question stay because computer science isn't telling you why you're here yeah. it might tell you what bits and what bites and you know how to do a for loop but it's not telling you why you're here in the world so how did you come about like even learning about what coaching um did yeah. you get a coach like you know how did that unfold for you 
Yeah, so um, there's that voice in my head, right, that kept saying um, that this isn't what you're meant to do, no matter what it is that I did. When I started the computer science program, there's a voice that kept telling me that, and then I ignored it. Then um, I switched to interior design. I got my bachelor's in interior design, and then still there's this voice saying this isn't what you were meant to do and then i thought i wanted to be an architect so i went to architecture school and that voice just kept getting louder and louder until i just couldn't ignore it anymore and a lot of people make the mistake of just kind of ignoring it and then they end up with a lot of regret right the number one regret that people have towards the end of their life is that they didn't have the courage to live the life that they wanted to live so i um like that that voice just kept getting louder and then i decided to do something about it i it was just totally random but not so random right i don't believe in coincidences that i saw an ad on facebook to take an instagram course very random but i followed my curiosity um instagram was kind of newish at the time and i was like okay well what is this i'm kind of curious and i took that course and in that course there happened to be a section about exploring yourself and who you are so that you can connect better with um, your audience on Instagram. And so that really started it all. That started my journey into personal development, into realizing who I am and kind of looking at um, the things I really like to do as a kid. Right? That gives us a lot of insight into who we are because we don't have these preconceived ideas as a kid and we don't have any biases. We don't really have too many things that society has imposed on us. So we kind of go with what comes naturally to us. And so in doing all this work, I realized that I had always um, wanted to inspire people to be the best they can be to um, live the best life they can. And also I had this particular interest in women. I um, went back and I read my essays from like middle school and they always had this feministic twist to it. I um, looked at old pictures of, of mine and though I didn't like taking pictures, I always staged these weird Academy Award shows where I'm giving speeches and thanking people and inspiring them. So all of those really came together um, after I, I did this for about like four or five years, really the inner work and kept trying and um, revisiting my story and asking questions. And that's really how it led me to becoming a coach yeah so did did you end up getting a coach at any point so like kind of going all right let me try this out let's see if like coaching is a thing that actually per, like gets results or did you kind of just uncover it and then go into coaching yeah I did get a coach I got a, a business coach not I've I've gone to therapy for many, many years. And that, um, though it's not coaching, it does help you do inner work. So I've done that. I did get a business coach. I invested in a business coach way before I even knew that I wanted to have my own business. It just felt right. Again, I just followed my curiosity. I knew that I loved freedom and I knew that I don't really love working for someone. It just wasn't for me. Being an employee just wasn't. I always knew that. So I thought, you know, let me just explore my curiosity. Let me get a business coach and see where this leads. And um, whether it's a business coach, personal coach, life coach, anything, coaches really um, help you yourself figure out the answers. They don't give you the answers, right? So um, they know the questions to ask. They know how to get you to go deeper. So I knew from getting a business coach that that um, it works. And I knew that that's also what I love to do. I'd love to create that um, sense of, oh, I found the answer myself to people. Yeah, and I think there's, I think that's a really important distinction to make between therapy, coaching, and like uh, consulting is um, great coaches are like master question askers, right? And, or really good interviewers, I hear, I hear as well. But so I, it, it makes sense that you were very, very curious and you were asking a lot of questions, but I think it's hard to ask yourself, right? I mean, you yeah. can ask yourself and try to journal, but um, there's something about that exchange between someone else asking you and kind of pulling out the answer because you get out of your head a little yeah. bit where yeah. otherwise we're sitting in our head so 
So what does it look like to work with you? Let's say some, some young woman or any woman is listening right now and says, man, I really like this V person. She seems like she's Mm -hmm. just following her heart, following her inspiration or curiosity. How do I, how, how does it look to work with you? Like, how do they find you? How do you guys work together? What's that look like? Yeah. Okay. So I'd love to give something to your listeners that they can actually do, right? And when I'm working one-on-one um, with women, we dive deep. It's really personal because every person's different, right? Um, but this, I tell everyone, the biggest thing that I get um, pushback from women, I would do what brings me joy. I just don't know what that is, right? And my thing is, if you did what you know, you'll know what to do. So there's already something inside you that you know that you like to do. And whether it's painting, whether it's cooking, and we dismiss that and we say, that's not good enough. That's how is that even gonna change the world? As women, we have these big aspirations and wanna do something to change the world, whatever it is, right? So I tell women to start with what they know. So you know something. So either ask yourself that question, ask yourself, what is it that I do when I'm procrastinating? What is it that I daydream about? What is it that time seems to, seems to fly as I'm doing this thing? And then don't judge it, right? If it's cooking, write down cooking. If it's um, running outside, write, write down running. Um, so write that thing down. And then think of three things you can do related to that. For example, if it's cooking, right, you can maybe take I guess now an online cooking class, maybe you can cook a dinner, take it to a neighbor or a friend. So think of three things you can do with that one thing. And then take out your phone, your calendar, schedule it in and actually do one or two of those things. And the more you do, the better you're going to get at, um, the more clarity you're going to get, right? So I have this thing that I create is the clarity spectrum. And it's really easy. Um, The more action you take, the more clarity you have. And it's not just busy work action because there's a difference between being busy and actually doing something. You're doing targeted things in directly related to that one thing that you know that you really like. So the less action you take, the more you're going to be confused. The more action you take, the more clarity you will have. And only action creates clarity. Thinking does not, thought does not. Women think, or I'm sure men too, we think that we can think about this in our head and then just come up with the answer. We can't, you actually have to take the action. So, and that's one thing that your listeners can do right now. If they're asking themselves, I I need more joy in my life. How do I live the life that I want? That's where you start. You start with what you already know. So when I work with women, I, you know, dive deeper into this and um, I help them figure out how they can create their dream life and how they can start right now that you don't need anything else outside of you. We always think I need that next, Thing. I need that new tool. I need that new gadget. If only I can have this one more thing, then I can get it, right? You already have it. So we go through the work, we do, we go through that deep work and we will, we create that dream life and then we start working towards it. I, I think that's beautiful. I've, I've talked to a couple of coaches as well over the years and um, I, I think I was very surprised to realize, and, and I'm still working on it, that that clarity isn't something you get it's something you do right yes like I'm like oh because I'm 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 a nerd I'm always in my head and yeah having thoughts about my thoughts about mm-hmm. my thoughts about my thoughts and um it wasn't really and, and I'm when you stop being in your head and start doing some of the things you're thinking about it's not until then that you actually know how you feel about it exactly <laughs> right? you're like I think yeah. I might like this well I don't know how do you know well try to do it and yeah. I think if our parents like college was meant to be that it didn't for a lot of my mine were like too like you're doing what you got to do but that's why like they don't have you declare major right away right they're like take all kinds of weird classes try to figure something out because <laughs> yeah. you you hopefully you'll find something you really enjoy um mm-hmm. but I wonder too is people think do people other people think that if you're if you can't make a lot of money at something, then it's not worth it, right? Like, yeah. I've always loved to draw. I'm like, oh, I can't, you can't make a living drawing. So I went yeah. into computer science because, you know, that's related. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Like, yeah. So it's kind of a, a crazy thing. So I love that idea of, like, pick a thing, 
do three actions related to it and then so do you do that and just sort of see how you feel about it or is it just keep doing that so you get better at it what's kind of your thought with it Yes. Yeah, so you don't know where your actions will take, right? Think of where you are right now in your life. Did you really imagine yourself being where you are? I didn't. Like 10 years ago, I would never imagine that I'm going to be here doing this, right? So you don't know where your actions are going to lead. I'll give you an example. So I work with a woman that she's like, I love, I love cooking. And um, she was very resistant to doing something about that. She's like, everyone cooks. That is, there's nothing special about that. But I took her through the process and she ended up taking a cooking class. So she went to a local community college, took a cooking class, and then she met a lady there who was trying to create her own um, cookbook. And so they collaborated and they made the different dishes and they also had a photographer in that same class. And then she took the pictures and they collaborated to create a cookbook. So you never know when that's going to lead. And um, so now she's like pretty successful. She has her own cooking show. Um, so you don't know where it's going to take you. Um, you don't know the people you'll meet. You don't know the opportunities that you'll get. And maybe along the way you decide, I don't love this cooking thing as much as I thought I did. Because sometimes um, things aren't meant to make you money. They're not meant to be the thing you do, right? Sometimes you just do it because it's a hobby. So only those that those actions will bring that clarity and they'll bring about different opportunities. And trust those feelings because your feelings will always be um, your guiding light, right? Think about it. When you're sick and you feel bad, you don't feel like doing anything. You don't feel like getting out of bed. Um, the things you love doing throughout your day, you don't want to do anymore. So those feelings will always guide you. If it doesn't feel good, don't do it. Switch gears, do something that feels good. Yeah, I love that. That seems like a, a, it's a great actionable way for the listeners to be able to kind of start going from stuck to, to unstuck. And yep. That's also only done through action, right? You can't yeah. think yourself unstuck, which is which is interesting. So if someone wanted to work with UZ, like what where would they go? What would they do? Yeah, so I'm at Zina Jarian across all social media platforms, um, mostly on IG and Facebook. And then my website is zinajarian.com. And if you go on there, um, you'll have across the top, there'll be a bar and they can sign up to get my free training on how to choose which passion to follow. Um, so that will put you right on my list. And then um, usually uh, once a month, sometimes more, um, I send out really actionable items on how you can create a life that you love. And if um, they really, if anyone really wants to have a clarity call, a free clarity call with me, it's at zinajarian.com forward slash clarity. That's amazing. Thank you so much. We'll make sure Thank you. to have your website and your Facebook and your IG and all of that in the show notes. Um, so thank you so much for taking the time with us today. Any parting words you'd like to leave the listeners with before we go? Yeah, so I'd like each and every single person listening to know that you are meant to live the life that your heart desires, right? I believe you're never given a vision that you're not meant to follow. So if you can think it and you feel like that's what you want, then you're meant to do that. So just trust that voice and know that you never have to do anything drastic. Sometimes we think we have to quit our job and like give our kids for adoption, move to Zimbabwe, I don't know, like something drastic. You, yeah. you never have to be drastic because we hear those stories right those stories get more traction someone doing something crazy but you can start you can take really small steps and you can start creating the the life that you really want to live well thank you so much Z. I thought that was beautiful I look forward to staying in touch and hopefully our listeners get a lot of great value from the tools that you shared with us so hope we have a great day yeah thank you Jackie it was a pleasure all right bye-bye bye, -bye. bye.